What's going on guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. Again, another day. RC all-wheel drive parts. They keep sending them. We're going to keep using them because I like them so far. I haven't come across anything I didn't like from this company. We're going to be working on the stretched Yoda today. So this is a SCX24 Gladiator and they sent me a couple parts and I think we're going to use all of them on this truck actually. So let's take a look at what they sent. First things first, we got some awesome big bore oil filled shocks. So I'm excited to throw these things on there. We'll get some oil in them. We'll test them. We'll see what we think. Those are going to be cool. Easy to do. Second, they sent me this a while back. This is a magnet mount. Currently the way I have this truck set up, whoa, can't be knocking over sips. <laughs> can't be knocking over sponsorship banners. Uh, just kidding. It's cardboard, but it looks nice in the background, doesn't it? Uh, so the way I have this mounted currently is with some Velcro on the front, which fell off the interior and some Velcro sticky pads in the back, which are running out of stick. Realistically, it's just sitting on there haphazardly. We're going to get this magnet mount set up today. We're going to see how it works. I think it's going to be pretty simple. I'm hoping that the 3M stuff will stick to the hood so we can get a nice magnet mount on there. And then these with being sticky, they'll kind of hold it in place until I can get some magnets for that as well. The last thing they sent, and I'm excited about this, are these monster brass wheels. Uh, they already came mounted up on a set of their mud train tires as well, which don't feel too terribly bad. They're a little stiff, but I kind of like the look of them. So we're going to keep those on there for now and take a look at these things. Now, the one thing that's really cool about these brass wheels, I know you guys like your weight out there, is how insanely heavy they really are. I didn't think that brass wheels were this heavy, but they're solid. I mean, look at the spokes in there. You see how thick those are? They go all the way through. Hello. They're, uh, <laughs> they're weighty. And in fact, I'll show you how heavy they really are. All right, so we busted out the scale. We'll go to grams. 60 to 61 grams per wheel. And that is a total of 242 grams just in wheels and tires alone. So first off, that's insane. Second off, as a comparison, let's get a look one more time at that, make sure everything's kosher. 242, this truck I just recently did a review on. 241 grams, I'm not holding it. There's no camera trickery here. That thing, that entire truck, wheels, tires, the battery is in there. Everything is in this truck. You can see the battery is still in there. Body, uh, nothing is taken off of it. This thing weighs 241 grams. These four wheels and tires weigh one gram more than that entire truck. What is going on? I don't even know if that's necessary, but I'm excited to find out. So let's get all this stuff bolted onto the Gladiator, see what we think. All right, so the first thing we're gonna try and tackle is this magnet mount. I think this should be pretty easy, and I'm gonna speed the footage up, and we'll see what it looks like at the end. All right, so we got the plate on there. Looking good so far. Next thing we wanna do is get the magnets on there. Let's get you a little closer. <clears throat> we wanna get the magnets on there, and then we're gonna take this 3M double-sided sticky pad. So we're going to clean any oil or grease or residue off the top of them that might be on your fingers. We're going to place that pad thusly. All right. And we're going to let those sit for a minute. Really get nice and adhered to the magnets. like that. Then we're going to peel these back pieces off, stick the body on. While we wait for those magnets to adhere, I figured we'd get a sneak peek at the next printing project I'm working on. This is a Chevy. It's a Chevy Blazer. <laughs> and we are coming along nicely so far. Got about 
six and a half hours left in the print. We've already been going for just about 20 hours. So let's see how it turns out. All right guys, so because of the way I printed this with the supports and it was like not great, I didn't peel it off in time, I'm fairly certain that those 3M sticky pads are not gonna stick to this very well. So I'm about to do something drastic. I'm gonna remedy it with a 500 degree soldering iron to try and melt a smooth surface where they can attach. There's a very good chance this is gonna mess this body up. Looking at it right now, the hood is nice and smooth. I like the way it looks and I'm going to attack it with a ton of heat. So, buckle up, let's see what happens. All right guys, moment of truth time. Now, that being said, if this doesn't work, I can always hot glue or super glue these magnets on as well, so it's not a total loss. I maybe should have just went that route instead of trying to melt all this stuff down, but, you know, gotta try some stuff sometimes, gotta take some risks. So, we gotta line this up, and actually I'm probably gonna do this mostly off camera, so I know I'm lining it up right, but I'm gonna line the back up. And then line the front up. Perfect, okay. So, because we're lined up and on there. And the way I line the body up is with this license plate section here, or this cutout, getting it identically, or as close to identically as I can between those frame rails, and then drop the front and then eyeball it. So I think we did a pretty decent job at getting it lined up for the most part. Now we're gonna see if those stick. All right, guys, great news. Uh, it seems to have worked. They're on there still, and they clip right on. The rear, I'm still gonna have to get some magnets or something to make sure it's right, but at the very least, these little pads hold it down pretty decently, those little sticky pads. So we got a body, and it's on there, and it's straight, and I'm excited. So the other good news was, before I did the magnet mounts, this screw, would hit the frame ever so slightly, and it doesn't seem to do that anymore. So, win-win for the magnets. Now this body has a long way to go, there's a lot I need to do to it, but I'm glad that I have a mounting option for it now, where it's on the truck and it's not just flopping around. So, next we're gonna do the shocks and the wheels and tires. I'm just gonna straight bolt them on off camera, because you guys know how to mount wheels and tires and shocks, or at least I hope you do and then we'll get right. back. Quick intermission, these oil-filled shocks, they're huge, okay? I was like, oh, these are like big bore shocks. These are monsters. These are gonna be kind of cool. Uh, these are not for the SCX24, they're for the FCX24, hey! I totally messed up. <laughs> these are the screws that you mount pretty much all SCX24 shocks with, and it like will slide right through. <laughs> These are the exact same screws and size of screw that goes in the FCX. It also came with extras of these. And I was like, what are these for? The gold ones fit. These are for the front shocks so that you can mount the link with it as well. So we're gonna get this put on the FCX24 in a future video. Um, these do look really cool. They're nice and soft. They got really good rebound. Um, they come pre-filled with oil. You just got to put the uh, little gold things in them so these are cool we'll take a look at these in the future but we're gonna snap to the wheels already on this thing all right guys here it is the man the myth the legend this thing is significantly heavier now with these wheels and tires it's insane how much heft it's got to it but that's gonna keep it nice and low down center of gravity and also i think Oh man, without the body, you can actually stand it up on the wheels, which is nuts. For a, a stock chassis and stock electronics and all the place, it'll just sit on its tires like that. Um, I do want to crawl this thing real quick. Let's just do a little test on the desk. Maybe we take it outside, maybe we don't, we'll see. But loving the magnet mount. The wheels and tires are pretty awesome and super heavy. 
Here, thud as it drops. Yeah, this thing ain't going anywhere. It ain't flipping over at all. So, and I like the uh, the brass and black actually goes good with the truck. Might have to do some gold or brass highlights on this thing to make it tie together. But yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, it's a bummer that the oil filled shocks were for the FCX24. I totally messed up. I should have paid more attention to it. RC uh, All Wheel Drive does offer oil filled shocks for uh, SCX24s as well, I believe. I'll put a link to both the SCX and FCX ones if they have them. But link to them in the description for all of these. You can get the brass wheels and tire already mounted combo, or you can just get the brass wheels. I'll put a link for both of those and then uh, the magnet mount as well. So thanks again to RC All Wheel Drive for sending this out. This stuff's awesome. I'm really liking the products that they have. I haven't found one that I don't necessarily like um, yet. The only one that I was a little bummed about, and it's totally my fault, was on the FCX24. If you saw that video, the high clearance links, it's because I got rid of the stock <laughs> top links, so I couldn't quite use them, but that's okay. This thing is gnarly. Let's, uh, let's go run it on the outside course and see how it does. All right, got the heavy truck out here. New magnet mounts all set up. So nice to be able to run the truck with the body actually mounted now. Weight pulled it in the hole that time, though. There are certain situations where you don't necessarily want too much weight. <laughs> it's having a hard time on that. slow crawl on those V2 electronics. All right, guys, so I'm sitting here editing my video, and the next day after I filmed, I had done some modifications. So I wanted to show you in this video, so we're adding this at the end. I went ahead and took the interior for the Gladiator out, stuck it inside here. I think it turned out good. Sits in there all nice with this cowboy hat. I did some gold uh, painting to match the wheels and tires. And I think it turned out awesome. Gold net in the back here. Gold on the bull bar, a little pinstripe. A couple of accents here and there. I even did the gold servo horn. So I'm going to go get some footage running this thing. And uh, we'll add it here at the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I think it turned out great. There's still things I want to do to it, things I need to clean up. But I'm really happy with the way this thing is running right now. I also ended up getting... Uh, magnet mounts on the back as well so now it's fully magnet mount and the battery is velcroed to the bottom of the body so you can't even see it once it's plugged in you can't really see any of the electronics or the cords or anything just a clean awesome looking rig that's fun to drive
So thanks again, guys.